Good morning! My name is Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and we are a homeschool family. Before we do our day in the life, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Yeah, is that exciting? The yummy? Chewy. Mm-hmm. You want to do the flap? Okay. They can't see him. It's a giant Christmas tree. They can't see him. Dumb. Yay, good job. Knock, knock. Who's, who's there? Alba. Who Alba? I don't see him. Alba home for Christmas. Ah, that's so funny. Good one. <laughs> The days flew by. I was exhausted, but I had to keep working. I couldn't let Grandfather William take over the newspaper. I loved my job. Too bad it was taking over my life. Well, Betty and Bob didn't love each other anymore. I know that much. The moment they told me I was being adjusted, I thought they'd split up. Solid gold I am. And Bob was very upset when he first lost me, but something must have changed up there. Bob clearly doesn't miss me as much as he did at first, or they wouldn't have ma made me move out of. No talking at the back there, cried Addie, or you won't get the full benefit of my tour. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It is 8.20 at this point. We have finished up our morning basket. We only got to like, not even half of the books that I would hope to get to um, at this time. And then of course also, now that we're in December, we also have our advent calendars in the morning. And so that takes up time. Anyway, she's getting into everything. And it is very frustrating and I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to juggle that because before she was happy to just color the whole time and now she sees the other fun activities and she wants to do them even down to my son's advent calendar his Lego advent calendar she keeps trying to grab so I don't know what to do about that okay. I think part of the problem is that when she is downstairs she feels like she has nothing she can do so what I've decided I'm going to do, we have a set of um, like a shelf unit with a box, the you know, the squares. Um, and right now our printer lives on top of it and then underneath it are things like DVDs, printer paper. We used to keep the extra diapers and wipes for the downstairs down there, but she kept pulling them out and playing with them, which then made me think like, oh, what if we put her toys there since she clearly can get to that space and then she has something. So that might be what I do right now is just to test it out and see, will she be happy if her toys are where she can get to some of them? You clean in too? Mm -hmm. Good job, wipe it up. Good job. Are you happy? You find all your toys now? Okay, so it's not quite even. I had said I wanted bins, but my husband just said, let's just do a trial run with what we have. So over here, I have her busy board and a couple books. I have some of her blocks and stacky things, all of her stuffed animals, some of the bigger um, toys that were down here, like this rocket ship and rattle and stuff and then the loose things I have inside this wagon she has a lot more toys upstairs these were just the ones that we had gathered that were 
left on the floor down here, but now maybe she'll have something to play with and like be able to know where they are. Okay, so I'm so glad I did that. Um, it's not perfect. I really hope one day to be able to go to the container store because it's a magical place. I don't let myself go, like ever, because it's also a dangerous place. There's so many fun little containers for everything you could ever want. It's great. Um, and I'm sure I would go bananas, but I do want some sort of basket to for each of those things, or at least for a couple of them. Um, the one with the stuffed animals in it, for instance. It just doesn't look great with them all just shoved in there, but I hope this is gonna help for the baby to know where her toys are, that she can kind of get to. And then that also helps because we had a giant, just like moving box full of her toys. And I, when I say it was giant, she couldn't reach half of them because it was so tall that she couldn't put her little arms in and get them out. So now she can get to the toys which is gonna help quite a bit. So, yes. Now I'm taking a look. Our co-op has finished for the semester. Um, we do the classes from our co-op um, on uh, two days a week. They offer them, but you sign up. And so they've released the ones so you can kind of get an idea of what the classes are gonna be. And I'm just kind of looking through and seeing what classes my son would be in. My daughter's still too little, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see what this is about. What word are you tracing, bud? Sleigh. Yeah. Baby. Those are your goldfish, not the puppy's goldfish. That's a really great job you're doing. Mommy, it is 11.45. We have just finished letter and number time. Um, and it has definitely been kind of a learning curve, I guess, with the baby. Now also she's moved to one nap instead of two, so she's now awake for letter and number time. And it is really a struggle with the number blocks specifically. She keeps trying to take them. We use Matthew C. And um, I'm like having to run interference the whole time that my son is trying to use the number blocks. Um, so yeah, that is definitely something that is a challenge. <laughs> As we are trying to do letter and number time, she's trying to be all in it. For my son's letter time uh, portion, we've been doing these Christmas pages, and one of the part of it is like he's putting together a little book where he's tracing a word that has to do with the holiday and then writing it on his own inside some blocks, and then he colors the picture of the things like today was a sleigh. And that's also been a challenge because she sees it as just a coloring sheet, so then she's trying to run over and join him. And I'm like, no, that's his. <laughs> you have your own paper to color. Um, so it's just just little things that we're trying to get used to. Um, my office is gonna be converted into a homeschool room. I feel like I've been saying this since I started this channel and it still <laughs> hasn't happened, but it will happen. It has to happen, just not till after the holidays. But one of the things I will be kind of trying to think about is how I can make spaces in that room for her um, so that she can be part of what we're doing, but also not interfering with what needs to be done for him. Any suggestions? I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs>
it is now 1.40. Baby girl is taking a nap. Um, I put her down after lunch. She made it all the way to our last book before she started just to get really cranky because she hadn't had her nap for the day. Um, the kids had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and while they were eating, I read to them. I read to them about Venus from Professor Astro Cat's solar system. And we also read about Venus from Professor Astro Cat's Frontiers of Space. Then we are currently learning about Abraham Lincoln. So we read Abe Lincoln, the boy who loved books. And then we are finishing up our domain and core knowledge all about farming. Hold on, Jory. And so we read Market Day and The Tale of Peter Rabbit. After lunch, I put the baby down for a nap and then I did a little bit of laundry. Um, my goal was to do two loads washed through and um, at least put one of the baskets away. Um, but I am super behind on putting the baskets away. So I actually put away two loads um, just so that I would have something to put in the dry load and be able to do my second load of laundry. Um, so I'm happy that I did that, but also I'm kind of like, oh, there's so much laundry to do. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever like that, but I'm really behind on laundry, on dishes, on just about everything. And on top of that, I feel like there's holiday things that I want to do too. But yeah. So little man is helping me clean up the toys that we put over on the shelf because of course they're now everywhere. Um, <laughs> I guess that that just is what it is. We have a couple more activities that I want to be able to get to for homeschool today um, to be able to feel like we got kind of everything done that we had hoped to get done. In addition to that, I want to do more cleaning here in the kitchen. This kitchen is a disaster area and I'm not going to be able to do uh, Christmas cookies and things like that throughout the week if the kitchen looks like this. So those are kind of the two things on my list still. It is 2.40. My son is watching an Octonauts uh, made for TV movie or whatever, you know, like the little specials. Um, when he is done with that, then we're going to do maybe a couple more activities. Um, but 
I think it is getting late enough in the day that I am going to end this video here. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.